Welcome to the Natural Ozone YouTube channel. My name is Simon Thomas, Product Manager for Natural Ozone, a family-run Kiwi company dedicated to helping you harness the myriad benefits of ozone. Please note, this video is not intended as personal medical advice. For all medical issues, please consult your health professional. Ozone therapy does have a firm scientific basis. In fact, there are over 11,000 scientific articles on the PubMed database in the USA. In this video, we will discuss how to perform rectal insufflation, or RI, as we prefer to say. Sounds a bit scary? Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. RI is the most powerful systemic method of administering ozone at home. That's because the bowel has a lot of blood vessels which quickly absorb the medical ozone and deliver it all around your body. RI is considered by many to be just as effective as autohemotherapy, but can be done at home in just a few minutes at zero cost when you have your own equipment. For many people, RI is the mainstay of their home ozone therapy regime. Please note, Natural Ozone do not claim that this protocol will cure any conditions. There is a wealth of scientific data which you can access through the Natural Ozone Study Library to help guide your decision making. We always recommend that you follow the advice of your chosen health practitioner. People have reported success using RI as a complementary therapy to support their healing with many different conditions, including various types of cancer, immune dysfunction and fibromyalgia. There are studies which indicate that ozone therapy helps to minimise the toxic effects of radio and chemotherapies. Ozone therapy can be safely conducted complementary to whatever other treatment regime you choose. For this protocol, you'll need the following equipment. Oxygen supply, natural ozone, ozonode, medical ozone generator, three chamber insufflation bag, RI catheter. Colosan powder, or your choice of colon cleanse, a towel, and the Natural Ozone Home Ozone Therapy Protocol Handbook. RI should be performed on a clean bowel. We recommend using a gentle cleanser such as Colosan. It's always best to perform RI after a bowel movement. Connect the oxygen supply to the O2 in nozzle at the back of your ozonode. We have separate videos on setting this up depending on whether you're using an oxygen concentrator or bottled oxygen. So if this is the first time you're using your home ozone therapy equipment, please visit the appropriate video. You'll see that your ozonode has a three position switch marked M1, off and M2. When we use the levels one to four, we use the switch on M1 and the outlet marked outlet one. When we use the settings 5 or 6, we turn the switch to M2 and we use the outlet marked O3 out 2. Ensure that the ozonode is plugged in and switched on at the wall. Set the power switch to M1. Which setting you use depends on the concentration of ozone you intend using. This is measured in gamma. Refer to the chart on your machine to determine which level and flow rate correspond with the gamma you require. Please consult your health practitioner for personal medical advice. In the protocol handbook, we pass on general advice from the Madrid Declaration on Ozone Therapy from the International Scientific Committee of Ozone Therapy. It's always advised to start low and slowly build up the dosage over a long period of time. In this case, we're going to make medical ozone at 19 milligrams per milliliter. Referring to the chart, we can see that we need a low flow rate of a quarter of a litre per minute and the setting L2. If you're using an oxygen concentrator, allow five minutes for it to warm up, then turn the low flow meter until the ball is hovering around a quarter. If you're using a gas bottle, turn on the tap and then adjust the low flow regulator to a quarter. So, press the button L2 and run it for two minutes while the machine warms up. Now connect the three chamber bag to the outlet marked O3 out one. Ensure that the clamp is open. The three chamber bag can be filled to 200, 400 or 750 mil. It is recommended to start with a dose of 200 mil. Here I'll fill it to 200 mil by pinching the bag right here. Once you've filled the bag to your desired level, 
close the clamp on the tube, switch off the ozonode and oxygen supply. Remove the bag from the nozzle and connect the catheter to the end of the bag. Lubricate the tip of the catheter with ozonated olive oil or another natural lubricant. Spread out a towel and lie down on your right side with your knees bent. Gently insert the catheter into your rectum by about 75 millimetres or 3 inches. Unclip the clamp and gently roll the bag from the bottom up, squeezing the gas into your bowel. You may feel a little bloated, that's normal. Remove the catheter and hold the gas inside for at least one minute, but longer is good if you can. You can pass the gas back out when you need to. Always wash and sterilise the catheter before and after use. Never share catheters with another person or use the same one for RI and VI. Personal admission. I was kind of squeamish about the idea of RI when I first heard about it, but after hearing so many stories from people who have benefited from it, I decided to give it a try and I was amazed how quick and easy the procedure is. Only takes a couple of minutes. Now I do it three times per week as part of my wellness regime. If you'd like more information on any of these topics, please check out our other videos visit our website or just give us a call. Remember, we are a service-orientated Kiwi business and are always happy to give advice and support. See you in the next video.